Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the lives of 20 stars whose passing might have flown under the radar. From Hollywood icons to beloved musicians, these stars left a lasting legacy that continues to inspire. Join us as we remember their contributions to the world of entertainment and reflect on the impact they had on our lives. Now, let's get started. Ava Gardner was an American actress born on December 24, 1922, in Grabtown, North Carolina. She rose to fame as one of Hollywood's most alluring and iconic stars during the golden age of cinema. Gardner's stunning beauty, captivating presence, and talent propelled her to international stardom, making her a sought-after leading lady in the 1940s and 1950s. Throughout her illustrious career, Ava Gardner starred in numerous acclaimed films, including The Killers, Magambo, and The Barefoot Contessa, earning praise for her performances and cementing her status as a Hollywood legend. She received an Academy Award nomination for her role in Magambo in 1954. Gardner's achievements extended beyond the silver screen, as she also became known for her philanthropy and activism, supporting various causes throughout her life. Tragically, Ava Gardner passed away on January 25, 1990, at the age of 67, due to complications from pneumonia. Her legacy as an icon of beauty, talent, and strength continues to inspire generations of fans around the world. Anne Rutherford was a Canadian-American actress born on November 2, 1917, in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. She became famous for her role as Karen O'Hara, the sister of Scarlett O'Hara, in the classic film Gone with the Wind, 1939, which catapulted her to international fame. Rutherford's career spanned over six decades, during which she appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing her versatility and talent as an actress. Throughout her career, Anne Rutherford earned the admiration of audiences and critics alike for her performances, but she remained best known for her role in Gone with the Wind. Additionally, she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960 in recognition of her contributions to the entertainment industry. Anne Rutherford passed away on June 11, 2012, at the age of 94, in Beverly Hills, California. The cause of her death was reported to be heart problems. Her legacy as a beloved actress and her memorable performances continue to be celebrated by fans around the world. Ingrid Bergman was a Swedish actress born on August 29, 1915, in Stockholm, Sweden. She rose to international fame for her captivating performances in both European and Hollywood films, becoming one of the most acclaimed and iconic actresses of the 20th century. Bergman's career spanned over five decades, during which she starred in numerous critically acclaimed films, including Casablanca, Notorious, and Gaslight. Throughout her career, Ingrid Bergman received numerous awards and accolades, including three Academy Awards for Best Actress, making her one of the most decorated actors in history. Her versatility, beauty, and emotional depth captivated audiences worldwide, solidifying her status as a cinematic legend. In addition to her acting prowess, Bergman was also known for her humanitarian work and advocacy for various causes. Ingrid Bergman passed away on August 29, 1982, on her 67th birthday, in London, England, due to complications from breast cancer. Her legacy as one of the greatest actresses of all time continues to inspire generations of actors and filmmakers. Zsa Zsa Gabor was a Hungarian-American actress and socialite born on February 6, 1917, in Budapest, Hungary. She became famous for her glamorous persona, extravagant lifestyle, and multiple marriages, which garnered her widespread attention in the media. Gabor's career in Hollywood spanned several decades, during which she appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions, often portraying characters with a similar larger-than-life personality to her own. While Gabor's acting career was marked by appearances in films such as Moulin Rouge and Touch of Evil, she became equally known for her public persona and flamboyant lifestyle. 
Her achievements include a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and numerous appearances on talk shows and reality television programs. Zsa Zsa Gabor passed away on December 18, 2016, at the age of 99, in Los Angeles, California. The cause of her death was reported to be heart failure. Despite her passing, Gabor remains an enduring symbol of glamour and sophistication in Hollywood history. Barbara Windsor was an English actress born on August 6, 1937, in Shoreditch, London, United Kingdom. She rose to fame as a beloved figure in British entertainment, known for her charismatic personality, comedic timing, and distinctive Cockney accent. Windsor's career spanned over six decades, during which she appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. Windsor became best known for her iconic role as Peggy Mitchell in the long-running British soap opera EastEnders, a character she portrayed for over two decades. Her portrayal of Peggy made her a household name and earned her widespread acclaim, including several award nominations. Throughout her career, Barbara Windsor was recognized for her contributions to British entertainment, receiving various honors and awards, including the Damehood in 2016 for her services to charity and entertainment. Barbara Windsor passed away on December 10, 2020, at the age of 83, in London, United Kingdom. The cause of her death was attributed to Alzheimer's disease, a condition she had been battling for several years. Her legacy as an iconic actress and beloved figure in British entertainment continues to live on. Penny Marshall was an American actress, director, and producer born on October 15, 1943, in the Bronx, New York City. She first gained fame for her role as Laverne DeFazio in the hit television sitcom Laverne and Shirley, which aired from 1976 to 1983. Marshall's comedic timing and charm endeared her to audiences, making her a household name. After her acting career, Penny Marshall transitioned into directing and producing, becoming one of Hollywood's most successful female directors. She helmed iconic films such as Big, Awakenings, and A League of Their Own, breaking barriers and paving the way for future female filmmakers. Marshall received critical acclaim for her work, including Golden Globe nominations for Best Director. She was also the first female director to have a film gross over $100 million at the box office. Penny Marshall passed away on December 17, 2018, at the age of 75, in Los Angeles, California, due to complications from diabetes. Her legacy as a trailblazer in the entertainment industry continues to inspire generations of filmmakers and audiences alike. Lynn Redgrave was a British-American actress born on March 8, 1943, in Marylebone, London, United Kingdom. Born into the renowned Redgrave acting dynasty, she was the daughter of Sir Michael Redgrave and Rachel Kempson and sister to Vanessa Redgrave and Corin Redgrave. Lynn Redgrave gained fame for her versatile acting talents, captivating audiences on stage, screen, and television. Redgrave's career spanned over five decades, during which she received critical acclaim and numerous accolades for her performances. She starred in a wide range of productions, from Shakespearean plays to contemporary films, showcasing her remarkable range and depth as an actress. Among her achievements, Lynn Redgrave received two Academy Award nominations for Best Actress, one for Georgie Girl, 1966, and another for Gods and Monsters, 1998. She also won a Golden Globe Award and received multiple Tony Award nominations for her work on stage. Lynn Redgrave sadly passed away on May 2, 2010, at the age of 67, in Kent, Connecticut, USA, after battling breast cancer. Her legacy as a talented and beloved actress continues to be celebrated by fans and peers alike. Sandra Locke was an American actress and director born on May 28, 1944, in Shelbyville, Tennessee, USA. 
She first gained widespread recognition for her role as Mick Kelly in the film adaptation of Carson McCullers' novel The Heart is a Lonely Hunter, 1968, which earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Locke's career flourished in the 1970s and 1980s, during which she starred in several films alongside Clint Eastwood, with whom she had a long-term relationship. She appeared in successful movies like The Outlaw Josie Wales, Every Which Way But Loose, and Sudden Impact. In addition to her acting career, Sandra Locke also directed several films, including Rat Boy and Impulse. Despite her professional success, Locke's later years were marked by legal battles with Clint Eastwood, including a highly publicized lawsuit, which she ultimately won, alleging wrongful termination and fraud. Sandra Locke passed away on November 3, 2018, at the age of 74, due to cardiac arrest resulting from breast and bone cancer. Her contributions to film and her resilience in the face of personal challenges continue to be remembered by fans and colleagues alike. Anton Yelchin was a talented American actor born on March 11, 1989, in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, Russia. He emigrated with his family to the United States as a child and began his acting career at a young age, appearing in television shows and films. Yelchin gained widespread recognition for his role as Pavel Chekhov in the rebooted Star Trek film series, starting with Star Trek, 2009. His portrayal of the young, enthusiastic navigator garnered him praise from both fans and critics, elevating him to international fame. Throughout his career, Anton Yelchin showcased his versatility as an actor, starring in a variety of genres, from drama to comedy to horror. He received critical acclaim for his performances in films such as Like Crazy, Alpha Dog, and Green Room. Tragically, Anton Yelchin's life was cut short when he died on June 19, 2016, at the age of 27, in a freak accident at his home in Los Angeles, California. His untimely death shocked and saddened the entertainment industry and fans worldwide, leaving behind a promising talent gone too soon. Anne Bancroft was an American actress born on September 17, 1931, in the Bronx, New York City, USA. She became famous for her versatile performances on stage, screen, and television, earning her acclaim as one of the greatest actresses of her generation. Bancroft's breakthrough role came in 1962 when she portrayed the iconic character of Mrs. Robinson in the film The Graduate, for which she received an Academy Award for Best Actress. This role catapulted her to international stardom and cemented her status as a Hollywood legend. Throughout her illustrious career, Anne Bancroft received numerous accolades, including an Academy Award, three BAFTA Awards, two Golden Globe Awards, and an Emmy Award. She also earned a Tony Award for her work on Broadway. Anne Bancroft passed away on June 6, 2005, at the age of 73, in Manhattan, New York City, USA, due to uterine cancer. Her legacy as a talented and versatile actress continues to be celebrated by fans and peers alike. Helen McCrory was a highly acclaimed British actress born on August 17, 1968, in London, England. She gained recognition for her remarkable talent and versatility across stage, television, and film. McCrory's breakout role came in the early 2000s when she portrayed Cherie Blair, the wife of former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, in the film The Queen, 2006, and its sequel The Special Relationship, 2010. Her compelling performance earned her widespread acclaim and marked her as one of Britain's most respected actresses. Throughout her career, Helen McCrory delivered captivating performances in a wide range of roles, showcasing her versatility and depth as an actress. She starred in acclaimed productions such as the television series Peaky Blinders and the Harry Potter film series, where she played the role of Narcissa Malfoy. McCrory's achievements include multiple award nominations and a well-deserved reputation as one of the most talented actors of her generation. Helen McCrory tragically passed away on April 16, 2021, at the age of 52, after a battle with cancer. 
Her untimely death was met with an outpouring of grief from fans and colleagues, who mourned the loss of a truly exceptional talent. Diane Carroll was an American actress and singer born on July 17, 1935, in the Bronx, New York City, USA. She rose to prominence as one of the first African-American actresses to break barriers in the entertainment industry. Carroll's career spanned over six decades, during which she achieved numerous milestones. She gained widespread recognition for her role as the title character in the television series Julia, 1968-1971 where she portrayed a widowed nurse raising a young son, becoming the first African-American woman to star in her own television series in a non-stereotypical role. Throughout her career, Diane Carroll received critical acclaim for her performances on stage, screen, and television. She earned several awards, including a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical for her role in No Strings, 1962, and a Golden Globe Award for her role in Juliet. Diane Carroll passed away on October 4, 2019, at the age of 84, in Los Angeles, California, USA, due to complications from breast cancer. Her legacy as a trailblazer and icon in the entertainment industry continues to inspire generations. Esther Williams was an American competitive swimmer and actress born on August 8, 1921, in Los Angeles, California, USA. She became famous for her exceptional swimming skills and her success in the water ballet genre of films. Williams's career began in swimming, where she achieved great success. She won multiple national championships and competed in the 1940 Olympics, though they were cancelled due to World War II. Her swimming prowess caught the attention of Hollywood, leading to a career transition into acting. Williams gained widespread fame starring in a series of aqua musical films produced by Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer MGM, during the 1940s and 1950s. These films featured elaborate water ballet sequences, showcasing Williams's swimming abilities and grace. Throughout her career, Esther Williams received numerous accolades, including three national championships in swimming and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Esther Williams passed away on June 6, 2013, at the age of 91, in Beverly Hills, California, USA, due to natural causes. Her legacy as a pioneer in aquatic entertainment and a beloved Hollywood star continues to be celebrated. Andy Whitfield was a Welsh actor born on October 17, 1971, in Amluch, Anglesey, Wales, United Kingdom. He gained fame for his portrayal of the legendary Spartacus in the Star's television series Spartacus, Blood and Sand. Whitfield's career was marked by his compelling performances and his dedication to his craft. His portrayal of Spartacus garnered widespread acclaim, earning him a legion of fans and establishing him as a rising star in the industry. Despite his promising career, Andy Whitfield tragically passed away on September 11, 2011, at the age of 39, in Sydney, Australia, after a battle with non-Hodgkin lymphoma. His untimely death shocked and saddened fans and colleagues alike, leaving behind a legacy of talent and potential that will be remembered for years to come. Though his life was cut short, Andy Whitfield's impact on the entertainment industry and his portrayal of Spartacus continue to be celebrated by fans worldwide. David Strickland was an American actor born on October 14, 1969, in Glen Cove, Long Island, New York, USA. He rose to fame for his role as Todd Stiddies in the NBC sitcom Suddenly Susan, which aired from 1996 to 2000. Strickland's career showed promise, with appearances in various television shows and films throughout the 1990s. He was known for his comedic timing and charming on-screen presence, earning him recognition among audiences and industry peers. Despite his early success, David Strickland tragically passed away on March 22, 1999, at the age of 29, in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. 
his death was ruled as a suicide by hanging. Strickland's untimely passing shocked his fans and colleagues, leaving behind a sense of loss and mourning in the entertainment industry. Though his life was brief, David Strickland's contributions to television and film continue to be remembered by those who knew him, and his work remains cherished by fans. Glenn Quinn was an Irish actor born on May 28, 1970, in Dublin, Ireland. He gained fame for his role as Mark Healy in the popular television sitcom Roseanne, which aired from 1988 to 1997. Quinn's career showed promise with appearances in various television shows and films, including Covington Cross and Dr. Giggles. However, it was his role as the boyfriend of Becky Connor in Roseanne that brought him widespread recognition and popularity. Despite his early success, Glenn Quinn tragically passed away on December 3, 2002, at the age of 32, in North Hollywood, California, USA. The cause of his death was attributed to a heroin overdose. Quinn's untimely death shocked his fans and colleagues, leaving behind a sense of loss and sadness in the entertainment industry. Though his life was cut short, Glenn Quinn's contributions to television continue to be remembered fondly by those who knew him, and his work remains appreciated by fans around the world. Wendell Middlebrooks was an American actor born on January 8, 1979, in Fort Worth, Texas, USA. He gained fame for his role as the affable delivery driver, Kirby Morris, in the ABC sitcom The Sweet Life on Deck, which aired from 2008 to 2011. Middlebrook's career spanned over a decade, during which he appeared in numerous television shows and films, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He also lent his voice to various animated projects and worked in commercials, becoming recognizable to audiences across different platforms. Despite his relatively short career, Wendell Middlebrooks left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry with his memorable performances and warm demeanor on screen. He was appreciated by fans and admired by his colleagues for his talent and professionalism. Tragically, Wendell Middlebrooks passed away on March 9, 2015, at the age of 36, in Los Angeles, California, USA. The cause of his death was reported as a pulmonary embolism. His untimely passing was mourned by fans and colleagues, leaving behind a legacy of talent and kindness in the entertainment world. Thank you for joining us as we paid tribute to these remarkable individuals. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, take care and remember to cherish every moment.